growing up in the 21st century, there's a lot of, you know, social movements that have happened in the past few years. And from a very young age, you know, I kind of realized, like, I wanted to be a part of this movement. So I'd written papers on it throughout middle school and early throughout high school, but there were never really any groups in my area that I could join to express that. And then kind of same with kind of my Jewish identity. So when these two things combined, it was kind of like the best of both worlds. I was actually very fortunate enough to be able to be the first, one of the first participants of Kolkulainu. It was just 10 of us from the New York area, and now there's about 50 participants from all over the country. The reason I want to invest my time in these fellows doing this incredible work with Kolkulainu is because I believe they can make a difference. I think that the Kolkulainu program develops those leadership skills, how that is rooted in Jewish values and if we just look at the idea of tikkun olam and of making a difference and I think when we think about feminism which is part of the Kolkulainu program, social justice, that's all a part of making that difference. We all kind of have similar ideals and similar ideologies and we really just kind of discuss what's going on in the world through a Jewish lens and kind of like deepen our Jewish identities through that while also um, you know, working towards some sort of social change. From the first meeting, you get to start thinking about what you want to learn about. And then that topic that you want to learn about, eventually you're going to teach the rest of the fellowship about it. After you finish the teachings, you then get to thinking about a bigger social action project that you're going to take outside of the Kolkulainu community. So we actually ended up deciding on uh, creating an educational curriculum about abortion and kind of uh, the different aspects to it, mostly because it's such a nuanced subject. The narrative is kind of dominated by the Christian view in everyday life, and a lot of people don't realize that the Jewish view of abortion is quite different. So the Jewish view really puts the mother's life at the forefront and kind of really values um, her choice in the matter. So we are looking to implement it into uh, youth groups at our local congregations and kind of give them the tools to teach their fellow peers um, going forward. So my social action project is an inclusive sex education curriculum that will cover gender identity, understanding what that whole topic means, as well as talking about our own personal boundaries and how we can communicate that to others, and then how that communication can be violated and turn into an unhealthy relationship. And my mentor is a sex educator, that's what she does for a living, and she also writes curriculum for moving traditions. They've turned it into a youth-led project where they can come in, Maya and her partner, and be the facilitators for peers, and that's part of the power of the program. It's made by teens, run by teens, for teens, because sometimes it can be scary to talk about such hard topics with adults. Regardless of what Maya studies, what she developed as being a part of this program is something that a lot of young people don't develop until later on in life. So when she goes into her next steps, but even beyond in life, taking leadership positions, having her opinion heard, developing a, a product and a project that she's proud of is not foreign to her. It's not something that's as scary. Kol Kalenu has definitely given me the tools to be an effective activist. You know, we've talked about how you can always say so much, but you know, it kind of honestly depends on what you do with that at the end of the day. And I think a lot of what they've taught has kind of given me the tools to move forward and be an effective activist and make sure that, you know, my voice is heard. Mm -hmm.